Hi, I'm James, and in this video, I'm taking a look at Forza Motorsport 6 Apex running on Intel Iris 540 graphics. Uh, this is on a Core i5-6260U, and you can see here we're running at uh, 720p and the low detail presets. And um, the game I found ran quite similarly to HD 520. You can see here, oh, sorry, HD 620 I previously tested it on. You can see here at the start, there's quite a bit of stuttering. Um, I found this the same on HD 620, um, where just when you're around a lot of other cars, the game seems to stutter occasionally. As the um, pack thins out and you get further into the race, I found this happened less, and it meant the early stages of the race were quite difficult. But you can see here where we're running in second place and chasing after the leader. Um, it's slightly less noticeable and the game becomes a little more playable. Um, so this isn't ideal really. Obviously when you're at the start of the race it becomes quite hard to be precise. Uh, I even got a bit of a pause there at one point. Um, I can imagine particularly if you're doing online play that would be very irritating. Um, it may not be quite so bad for online because you're using um, CPU, uh, CPU opponents here versus real people so there may be less of an AI workload going on. Um, but if it's purely down to sort of the graphical load of having the extra cars visible uh, then that may be something that's going to impact on you. So the game does run on Iris 540. I think frame rates they were a little bit higher than on HD 620 but particularly when you're in the pack with a lot of other cars you're going to get a bit of stuttering which is going to make the game a little bit trickier to play. I hope you found this video useful. If you'd like to see more from us in the future, be sure to hit the subscribe button. We've got plenty more videos we're sure you'll enjoy as well, looking at gaming on other platforms. And support us on Patreon if you want to have your say on what we test in the future. Thanks for watching.